In this video, we're looking at the types of calculations you're expected to know how to do for the standard. So we need to know how to find the proportion and the relative risk. The proportion is the number affected divided by the total number. So a question might be, find the proportion of zoo creatures that have four legs. So if this is our zoo here, we can see we've got three creatures that have four legs. So therefore we've got three divided by nine, our total number of creatures in the zoo. So the probability is 0.33. Now if we look at relative risk, this is a way of comparing two risks. An example of this would be finding the relative risk of lung cancer given they were smokers. So if we look at this table here, we can find the relative risk. First, we need to find the risk of lung cancer in smokers. Then we need to find the risk of lung cancer in non-smokers. And then the last step is to compare the risks by dividing step one by step two. So let's give this a go. An easy way to do it is to label your table like this. So to find the risk of lung cancer in smokers, we use the probability of lung cancer given they were smokers, so that's cell A, divided by the total number of smokers, so that's A plus C. So if we plug our numbers in, we've got 850 divided by 850 plus 260, and this gives us 0.766. Now we'll move on to step two, where we're finding the risk of lung cancer in non-smokers. So we apply the same formula as before. We use the probability of lung cancer given they are non-smokers, so this is cell B, and we divide it by the total number of non-smokers, so B plus D. If we plug our numbers in, it gives us 0.245. Now in the final step, we have to compare these two risks, so we divide step 1 by step 2. So this is the long formula we've got here, and if we plug our numbers in, we get 3.13. Now we have to interpret this. And we can do this by saying people who smoke are 3.13 times as likely to develop lung cancer than those who don't. It's really important that you say times as likely instead of more likely or less likely because they might trick you and say that smoking is good for you and so you're less likely to develop lung cancer. So you've got to really make sure that you don't fall into their tricks and you can do this by saying times as likely. So from this video, what you need to know is that there's two types of calculations, proportion and relative risk. And you need to know that proportion is the number of affected divided by the total number and relative risk is when you compare two risks. So that's a pretty short video but that's all you need to know about the types of calculations for this standard.